الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد اے احبت فی اللہ One of the lessons that we can take and benefit from during our fast is being cautious in our speech and leaving off false testimony and leaving off lying and deception, ghibah and namima, backbiting and slandering others. And this is a madrasa or this is a lesson, a dars from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is what the Salaf of this Ummah was upon. Min hadith Abi Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal man lam yad'a qawlu zur wa amalu bih fa laysa lillahi haja fi an yad'a ta'amuhu wa shirabuhu In this hadith of Bukhari also collected in by Imam Ahmed and his Musnid the hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an, who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever does not leave off false speech and practicing it, you know, actualizing this false speech, actualizing by lying and cheating and uh, false testimony and slander, then Allah is not in need of him leaving off his uh, leaving off food and drink. This hadith is a warning to avoid backbiting and slander and those things which are displeasing to Allah And Imam Ahmed mentioned some benefits in this hadith and Ben Uthaymeen rahmatullahi alayhi wa rahmatin wasi'ah Alayhim rahmatullah. <clears throat> he made some ta'liqat or some a small commentary about this the statement of Imam Ahmed. He said, Yajibu ij tinab hadhi la sha yadila ala anna siyam tarbiya fil haqika. He said it's an obligation to avoid those things. And this is evidence that fasting is uh, education in reality. It's a type of education. وَأَنَّ الْإِنسَانِ إِذَا صَامَ الشَّهْرِ كَامِلًا وَكَدْ حَجِزَ نَفْسُهُ عَنْ هَذِهِ الْمَحَرَّمَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَتَأَثَّرْ وَيَتَأَقْلُمْ وَيَتَخَلَّفْ حَالَهُ أَمَّا حَالَ كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسَ الْيَوْمِ فَغَالِبْ أَنَّهُ لَا يُؤْثِرْ لِأَنَّهُمْ فِي النَّهَارِ فِي الْأَكْثَرُهُ نَائِمُونَ وَفِي اللَّيْلِ سَاهِرُونَ Sheikh bin Uthaymeen, he said that it's an obligation to avoid those things and this is evidence that fasting is education in reality and that a person, if he fasts a whole month in its entirety and restrains himself from those things which are prohibited, then he will be affected. So that's the 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 uh, tarbiyah there that he'll be affected from that. A whole month of leaving those things, it will affect you, and it will help you to cut back and restrain yourself. And his status will differ or his his state will differ from the way he was prior to that month as for the state of most of the people in this time for mostly they're not affected meaning affected by that fasting and that that tarbiyah that's because during the day most of them are sleeping. And during the evening, most of them are staying awake. Woman Tawada, Imam Ahmed Rahimullah Ta'ala, is his statement. For Kolohu, Lokanatal Riba, Tuftir, 
So from the humility of Imam Ahmed, he said that if backbiting breaks uh, were one of those things which invalidates a person's fast, then for for us there would be no fasting, meaning that we all fall into backbiting. And uh, Sheikh bin Uthaymeen, he mentions about this, he makes ta'liqat on Imam Ahmed's statement, he said, and he said, and what I believe, and what is believed regarding this, is that Imam Ahmed was, was free from this. He was far from uh, backbiting. However, this is from his tawadah, this is from his humility. But look at us, Ahabatifillah, how many of us are involved in ghibah and namima during Ramadan and other than Ramadan. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins and bless us with ilm al-nafi, rastan tayyibu, amal al-mutaqabbilin, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.